Well, hello there. Here we are today looking at a 2,424 square foot single level home in Estrella Mountain Ranch. And so we'll just give you a view of the street. This entire little pocket is all single level homes. They're all similar in size, 1,800 up to 20, 2,600 square feet or so. You know, this particular model had, uh, as standard, was 2,195 square foot and it had a third garage option. Um, but when the people who built this house uh, had the third garage developed as extra living space, which you'll see when we get inside, and that increases the square footage to just over 2,400 square feet. It turns it into a fourth bedroom. So we got four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a front living room, dining room combination and then a great room across the back of the house. Split bedroom floor plan, so the master bedroom is on the opposite side of the house from the three other bedrooms. Okay, so we're just adjusting for the light in here. Here we are in the foyer, which is nice and spacious. Around the corner from the foyer, there's a, a little flex room. Now you can see there's some children's toys in there, but I've seen this used as office space or as a separate dining room, whereas this can be a you know, front living room or a recreational kind of room. And then through that archway to the back, that's where the, you know, the family room is. So we're just gonna start over here on the master bedroom side of the house. So I'm just gonna make a right-hand turn coming in from the foyer. Just gonna back up so you can see where I came in. See that flex room just off to the side there. Now through this doorway to the right, is the laundry room and that goes into the garage. Washer and dryer are included in the purchase of the home. Now here we have a large master bedroom. So now the way that this is laid out, we have the king size bed in front of the windows there and a dresser along that wall, um, but you can certainly put the master, or sorry, the king size bed along that wall. And then that still leaves room for a dresser of that size that can go right here. And then we've got patio access right off the master bedroom. So that's kind of nice if you're in the swimming pool. Um, you can just come right in and slip into the master bathroom rather than run, you know, going through the house. So here's the master bath. It's got a separate soaker tub, four foot shower, two sinks, and a good sized walk-in closet. Lots of double hung, and then we've got some organizer. Okay, so now we'll head over to the opposite side of the floor plan so you can see the three other bedrooms. And then we'll come back through to the back of the house and, and uh, see the kitchen and the dining area and, uh, and the family room. Okay, so they've got it set up here with, with a double bed with a bunk up above it. There's definitely room in this room for a queen size bed with a nightstand on either side. Same thing in this room here. We do have a queen-size bed. It's pushed up against the wall, but to allow room for this dresser here. But with having a double-size closet um, and with an organizer in there, you don't necessarily need the dresser. And that would allow for a queen-size bed with a nightstand on either side. And then across the hall from it is the main bath. So it's a good size vanity and a light, to a window to bring in some natural light. Okay, so we'll just. Make a turn to see the fourth bedroom. So this was what I mentioned from outside, would have been the third garage. And as you can see, it makes for a really large bedroom and puts a huge wall-to-wall -wall closet along that side. Okay, so a very spacious fourth bedroom, or it could be used for recreational space as well. So now we're just going to head over back towards the foyer, and we're going to make a left-hand turn just past this pantry here and into the kitchen. So appliances are included in the sale of this house. We got a stainless steel fridge with a basement freezer, saran top stove, dishwasher, built-in microwave. And as you can see we've got plantation shutters, just adjusting for the light, that are on these windows. And family room with a built-in across the back. 
Okay, so another variation of this floor plan would be to use this as a large dining space and then to use that as the main large living room. Um, so having you know, the variety of living space gives you some options. So there you can see where I came in. There's plenty of room for a good sized dining table there, so that's why they chose to use a, this as a, as a family room and then have another sitting room. It's, sometimes it's nice to have those two living spaces. Okay, now we'll just take a walk outside. Now we do have a fenced-in pool, so this would comply with bylaws for those having children that are under the age of six. But as long as you had self-latching doors and a self-latching gate that's locked at the side of the house, you could actually take this fencing out of here. Okay, so you can see we have a beautiful pool. Just going to open up the gate. Double pack interior, and this is a heated pool. So I'll just walk you by the two air conditioners here, and you can see the side yard. We have this large gas heater for the pool, and then the equipment is just tucked around the side there. So that's nice. And we have a mountain view from this backyard, so that's very, very pretty. We've got some extra space that's over on the other side of the fence there. Nice size covered patio, the fan. There's that patio door access into the master bedroom. So you could actually develop some more space over here. Concrete patio, there'd be plenty of room for an outdoor barbecue island, outdoor kitchen kind of thing. Or just some extra lounging space for loungers around the pool. So really good size yard, good size side yard. And there's a view of the rear elevation of the house. So, signing off from beautiful Estrella Mountain Ranch in Goodyear, one of the premier neighborhoods in the entire valley. Bye for now.